This is our this is our game. This is uh, Bandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk number ten. Guys, we made it ten episodes. It was a whole thing, but that's okay. We're over that now. Um, so last time uh, our party was in Wyvern Tor, looking to deal with some orcs, uh, and they did. Basically, that was kind of how that went down. Uh, and then there was a lot more RP stuff around, you know, are we talking to Soot? Is this Soot? Who are you? What's going on? <laughs> Who's in control? Uh, you know, uh, so th that was, I say, probably the majority of it, right? Oh, no. Yeah, 20 that feels right. 25% complete already on the reliquary for this time. We got high. <laughs> yeah, Bronson yeah. got too high. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is true. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> I didn't say that. You <laughs> said that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they got high with Towley, uh, the Mistran towel, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, with that being said, uh, I guess we'll just jump into where we left off, which was, I think, a long rest, right, for everybody? I think? Uh, yeah, I think we had just settled yeah. down for the long rest at that point. Okay. Uh, so, you guys will, uh, we'll say just for the sake of brevity through this, you guys get the long rest, uh, and it is now the next morning. What would you all like to do? Well, I suppose I'll make some tea. Me and Bronson will fetch up some breakfast, and then perhaps we should head on to Thunder Tree? Or Thunderstruck? That's what it is. Uh, yeah, for those of you who are curious about that at home, it is called Thunder Tree in the module. Somebody called it Thunderstruck, and as per usual for this game, we are now calling it Thunderstruck moving forward. So, just so you're aware. Okay. We, love it. we need to recover a necklace. Yes. And uh, aside from that, I mean, I can't imagine what we would have to talk about. We should really get on the road. Uh, if that's cool with everybody. Sounds like Somebody a good plan to me. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> how about that? Clarence, my horse. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're heading to Thunder Tree. Clarence, my horse. I don't know why that. I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> I yelled Clarence, and then I was like, "That's right." I don't know if everybody remembers that that's my horse's name. <laughs> to me, Clarence. Clarence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clarence, Clarence, where are my... you going, Clarence? Please come back. <laughs> my road humunculus. <laughs> oh, I don't where know why. Where is my hunk humunculus, Clarence? <laughs> Clarence. It's just a great name. <laughs> Clarence. To me, Clarence. Uh, yes. Uh, so you guys are going to head over to... Uh, I'm just trying to pull up the map here to get a quick idea of how far it is from where you guys are currently in Wyvern Tour. So you're actually going to head... It's kind of almost directly, diametrically opposed to where you guys are. Almost over by Neverwinter. Uh, oh, wow. you're, All right. That's a, a long journey. Uh, it is a couple of days. So you have a couple of options here, right? You could go due north to get... There is a river that kind of winds through the Neverwinter wood and comes out next to Thunder Tree, um, which will eventually make its way all the way out to Neverwinter. You could follow the Tribor tra Trail all the way back, basically almost to where Fandolin is and then head due north to go to Thunder Tree, or you could go for a straight line and cut through the Neverwinter Wood. I've been you know, a defender are... of the Tribor Trail for a long time. Mm -hmm. I have utmost confidence whatever we run into there, we can dispatch with no time. Right. I don't know if I want to go through the wood. Do we know anything about the wood? Is it just Fantasy ass wood where bad things happen. I mean, Agatha's lair. <laughs> Fantasy uh, ass. All right, hold on. So Agatha's lair, and technically where you had your Creek Beach episode were also within the Neverwinter Wood. Okay. So like one spooky banshee lair also 
fun game of chicken that did not involve chickens, no matter how much certain programs think it did. <laughs> so, 20, 30, 40, 50. It looks like it's 60 miles to Thunderstruck from where you are as the crow, as the crow flies. Okay. If you I were mean, to take I'm... a straight shot. Oh, oh. I'm here. Don't worry. Oh, You're he's not. here. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Um, all right. I, I mean, I'm not against going through the woods if that works for everyone else. I don't mind. I suppose works for me. Yeah. All right. Works for me. Cool. All right, then. Um, yeah, we don't, we're not missing anything in this area that we know about, right? We did Wyvern Tour. We did, uh, the Old Owl well. Ghouls by the Tower, Old Owl Well. And Agatha the, the Banshee. Correct. I think that's, yeah. That is all you currently have on your map. Okay, cool. All right, so then, yeah, I mean, cool. Through the woods, then. Um, And remind me, because I don't have it off the top of my head, because we, we looked up, I think we looked up distance of overland travel, but I don't think we did that for horseback originally. I think we were... Uh, I thought no, we, we did. We did, 30, did. It's 30 miles oh, it's at a 30? normal pace. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. And then you could do like 45 at a fast pace. Okay. Uh, but I don't see any reason to do that. Right. You're not in any particular rush. On foot, it takes about three days for normal walking speed. If we're going straight from Agatha's to I have an interactive map up. Okay. Wow. But that's walking. So, yeah. Right. So. Say one and a half times as fast on horse, so two days. Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. All right. Uh, somebody roll me a d20. Let's see how we do on our first day of travel. I'll do it. <sighs> Nat Go 20. for it. Oh! oh. Will there be <laughs> to it? Oh, Woo. boy. Well, I something. hope you pooped. I hope that that was a poop face. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, given that, Just Robert, <laughs> roll me a D12. Let's see what... Oh, I mean, you guys know it's a random encounter. Your characters don't know it's a random encounter, but what's happening? So just to remind everybody, we have the owl bear. We have our horses. We have a lemur. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a mm -hmm. mouse. And, and a, a spider. And a spider. And a jar of, <laughs> a jar of 12 tiny frogs. And a jar of 12 tiny frogs. That is correct. And a partridge. And a partridge. And oh, a and, and, a, <laughs> and a key to a timeshare in the Beastlands. Yeah, yeah if there was a timeshare in the Beastlands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well. Hmm. That is how trinkets work in Ted game. We have a bag of holding, so we can just be like, come on, put all this random shit in there. Frogs. Oh, it'd be terrible if later <laughs> we're like, what did we have in here? We just find a bunch of like rotten animal pieces. Animal bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pickles. What a shame. Oh, no, pickles. <laughs> Clarence, my horse. <laughs> I put my horse in the bag. <laughs> I don't know how we did that, but it's there. <laughs> uh, oh. So, Robert, did you roll me a d12? I'm sorry. Yeah, I rolled a two. Two, okay, cool. All right, uh, let's... Okay, they didn't give me no... No encounter... I just the real aquary, all I had. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and Lord. north. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys really want to see some shit happen to go down. It's a 50% already? Apparently. 50%. All right. Uh, so. They're giving all they got. And Dark Half. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for t for this. I mean, you don't have to. I know it's wild and wonky shit happens. Uh, if I ever get no, around. You there's, oh. there's really only two options when you want to use your channel points. Either tip the reliquary or mm -hmm. get a trinket for our beloved mm -hmm. goblin drunken oh, master. Stop <laughs> reminding them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. He's uh, never going to come back. He's going to walk back into the scene like Jack Sparrow. He's just going to have so All many things, the things on him. Mm. <laughs> Dude already looks like a Bollywood, like, oh <laughs> straight God. up superhero. He's got his yes. harem behind him. Like, <laughs> uh, Anyway, you hear some buzzing sounds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's buzzing. Uh, buzzing. 
and uh, you guys are descended upon by a swarm of just the grossest cat-sized mosquito creatures, and I need everybody to roll for initiative. No, 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 no. Dude, I hate okay. these are... No. Robert, what have you done? Mm. I, that I one died in Ravenloft to these things. I did die to these things. <laughs> one of our last campaign. What do you got, Jake? What's your uh, HP? Or I your HP? Sorry, your initiative. I also rolled a nat one. Or that makes yours None what? Of us got above a ten. What? What's yours, Bronson? Three. Three. LB. After I said that I could defend the Tribor Trail. <laughs> we're not on the tribal trail. You guys are like, let's go through the woods. Gable? 22. Oh. <laughs> Pickles, leave me. Run. <laughs> go on without me. Clarence, run. <laughs> uh, I don't care if I die as long as Clarence lives. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, let's sit down. Uh... Go ahead and uh, what would you like to do, Gable, as six of these Sturges descend on the party? How far away are they? Are they uh, like right on us? They are, we'll say they are within 30 feet. We'll make them um, 30 feet away. How about that? We'll say that. That'll work. Uh, I, I don't know how to do this. I am going to, well, you know what? They're still far enough away. I'm going to move further because Gable does not do bugs. Just going to make that known mm -hmm. now. Uh -huh. um, Gable's going to move 30 feet further away and then just fire with the Siren's Whisper. Okay. Um, we'll do a bonus action to have the enchanting bolt on it. Um, All right. To the C. Go ahead. Uh, that is a 19 on the die. No, no, uh, 26. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. And now I'm outside of 30 feet, so I don't get sneak attack, but it does still have to make that um, wisdom save. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Honestly, roll the damage first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nine points of damage. Yeah. It explodes in a, an explosion of blood. Oh. Well, uh, cool. Bordello of blood. Uh, then it is all of their turn. Um, okay. <laughs> so we're going to send one at each member of the party. So we'll start there. Uh, oh, wait, you moved further back, didn't you, Gabriel? So not you, because you moved further away. Everybody else. So we'll start with... Uh, so... is, there a, uh, is there a map? There is not, because this is just a random encounter. We're just on the road. Okay. Uh, so that is a 14 hit. That misses. Okay. Let's see. Bronson. Oh, no. That is an 11. Uh, let's go for Bishop. That is a 22 to hit. Mm, that'll get me. All right. You are going to take, my good sir, seven points of piercing damage, and this thing sticks its proboscis nose in through like uh, a, a little bit of like a where the plates of the studded leather. I, no, mm -hmm. it just goes right through it. Screw that. Just pierces right through it oh. and starts sucking. You could see its distended gut start to fill up with your blood as it oh. sucks it out of you. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel a woozy. Uh, and then I have two more. Um, and we're not going to be mean and attack the horses. I'll be nice this time. We're not, not gonna. Clarence. We're not gonna suck out Clarence's blood. <laughs> you you want to have the wrath of chat when you start killing animals? Be my guest. I didn't mm -hmm. send it after the spider pickles, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, this is a familiar, damn it. He comes back. Does an eighteen hit you, Soot? Yes. Okay. Then you two are also gonna take seven points of piercing damage as this thing attaches to you. Go ahead. Did we get stuff at the beginning of the day from Bronson? Yep, everybody's got Oh, eight. yeah. Yeah, so consider... I'm, I'm basically counting on that just being a thing, so consider that done. Yes. And then... That was five. Okay, so that was all of them. Uh, then it is... Uh, Soot's turn. This thing is stuck. It is attached to you. Uh, Soot uh, 
panic slightly, uh, m uh, but only a little bit because if it's just bugs, they're just bugs. Uh, she's gonna put her hands out. I mean, I do want to point out that it's like this big. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure that everybody is aware. I, I'm freaking out. So How does it fly? I hate it. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna need all of these creatures to make a Constitution saving throw if they were are within ten feet. Okay, so that'll cover. Well, that'll cover at least two of them. Radius. Con save. Yeah. That's a ten foot radius, so twenty foot circle. Uh, sure. So, uh, what are they making a con save? Please. Uh, all right. What's the DC? Fourteen. Fourteen. All right, looks like they're all going to fail. Take uh, eight Burn. necrotic damage. Ooh. And uh, anyone who is hit uh, can roll an unspent hit dice to regain that number of hit points equal to the roll plus my spellcasting modifier, which is four. We love Wither and Bloom. Uh, they all explode and you're all covered in blood. So oh. you, know when you, you know when you get like a little mosquito... That like fills up with blood, and if you smack it, you like your hands covered that. Imagine that, but like the sack is like a big full water balloon, and you just <laughs> pop them all. All five of them pop, uh, and two of them. One of them is full of Gabe, or Bishop's blood. The other one's full of Soot's blood, and the other ones just have whatever was left over in their tum tums from before, and they all explode. So in a very Carrie-esque moment, uh, blood is everywhere on everybody except for Gable because Gable moved mm. away. Gable's just going to take a like, like the cork off of his water skin. Just, hmm. And I will say that Bronson is the least bloodied because it was only one that didn't get a hold of him. So it was just whatever was left. Whereas you guys each had two, so it was a much larger bloodbath there. Kind of, I just kind of put my hand up when the spray hit. And <laughs> He's like, just ah. enough to cover my hand, so I'm like, God, I put it on my face. <laughs> and I'm like, ah! so its hair is red right now. But her eyes are not black. She is just very covered no. in blood. <laughs> oh, like... no, my tummy hurts. You know, Ooh. it's going to be a bit of a difficult time to get out of your hair, darling. If you need assistance later, just let me know. Oh, no, I have this. I uh, bring out my crystal that lets me do prestidigitation. Ah, there you go. And I'll, I'll clean everybody up all the way. I'll make everything smell like a lemon verbana hand soap, and we can move Ooh. on forward. Ooh. It's, all right. It's my mother's favorite. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Mm. You know, I do not like bugs. I regret going in the forest. That was a bad decision, and I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's. You know, it's part of nature. Those were not really part. Of, that was a lot, but um. Abominations, I believe, is the word you're looking for there, son. Yeah. Abomination. I didn't want to be mean. I have a McDonald's straw-sized proboscis in my <laughs> arm currently. You could heal. I uh, wither and bloom. Let you heal. I yes, is, I did heal. <laughs> what is but this McDonald's still. you're referencing? I don't oh, understand. it's a restaurant in Luskin. <laughs> uh, we used to oh, go there well, as kids because we could afford it. <laughs> I thought it was right. McDonald's. Wow. Uh. Yes, of course. Well, it's a it's a local affectation. That's all. Mm. No wonder yeah. I haven't been there. Mm. Well, I'm right, telling you, you clown. are missing out. Oh, Am clown. I? It's it's Luskin. <laughs> Well, they have little toys like this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. I am missing out on Luskin. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, Clarence, let's go. <laughs> Pickles, go over there and give, give Bishop a hug. He's going to need, he's going to be a little woozy. I send Pickles over to your shoulder. He just kind of grabs oh. on your, over onto your ear. He's I'm gonna like, have to oh. get, uh, I'm gonna have to get like a Momo soundboard so I can just like play little lemur sounds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll give him a little I carrot to eat. Oh, there you go, jump, buddy. It's just all four digits. It's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you guys will continue on for the rest of your journey for today, uh, before it becomes slowly starts to become evening. Uh, and you guys, I assume, are going to set down for camp. We're not really rushing. I mean, I would... A Zaboomafu soundboard would also work. Different kind of lemur, though. We're not going for, uh, you know... Uh, anyway, we don't, uh, yes, it's much smaller lemur. Zaboomafu. 
With the Crap Brothers. I don't know Subumu Fu. No. Oh, come on. Missing out. Do you know why you know Wild Kratz, Jake? You know Wild Kratz? Are you familiar? No? Jeez. No, sir. I am going to take the last Jack is missing out. seven bean blend. Yes, okay. sure. And I'm going to take my red beans out, and we're going to do a little bit of red beans and rice tonight. And I'm going to use mm. up the last bit of smoked sausage that I have. And we're going to make a big old Dutch oven <sighs> of red beans and rice. You mm. would think given how many episodes we've had so far, that I would remember that you were basically showering us with food porn every time we camp, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be hungry after hearing it. <laughs> Since she was based off of me, damn it. Uh, <laughs> do we still have some of that chicken bouillon? Yes, we do. Oh, fantastic. That is yeah. wonderful. I'll go, uh, I'll go grub up some wild mushrooms to add into mm. this. Mmm. And and just Fantastic. just I don't want to put myself in this scenario, but I'm going to ask. You know, Bishop's pretty good about finding this kind of stuff, right? He's done a lot of foraging for mushrooms, right? He knows the right kind of mushrooms to find. Yeah, right? of course. He's okay. got a little booklet on mushrooms. He's got his law book and his mushroom book. <laughs> All right. All right. Every, Mushroom every, foraging every for dummies. Forest, there's yeah. a 5% chance to be fooled. So, I mean... Do you do you want? Yeah, to fuck it. Go ahead. Roll a percentile. Roll a percentile. <laughs> you got a five percent chance of some of the mushrooms not being what you're looking for. Okay, uh, twenty-seven with my. All right, you're good. And a natural oh. twenty with the d twenty for my survival check. You're fine. I know yeah. what mushrooms look like, and I know that the blue ones are not good for yeah. your brain. You come back with those hint of the uh, hint of the house, dude. Mm. Yes. Yes, the hen of the hen of the woods. Oh. Yeah, hen of the woods. Hen of the That's woods. right. Mm. 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 They crisp up uh, beautifully. As uh, as they're cooking again, and uh, we'll say it's probably <laughs> happened often enough. Uh, Gable is going to stare at that hand mirror uh, that he's had. Oh yes, this in his inventory again. For those at home who may have forgotten about the hand mirror, would you really like to? Re this is a trinket, but would you like to? <laughs> Remind us all yes. what it does. My hand mirror, it, it's a cracked mirror showing the face of the last person who tried to kill you. Uh, yeah. It, it doesn't shows... show Soot's face, just to point that out. It does not. Just want to make that very clear. Try to kill you. I no, I know. I, no, no, I'm making it very clear that it was not an attempted murder. <laughs> no. If, if you flip around the other side, it shows you who's blocked you on Twitter. <laughs> That's too hurtful. It's just, it's just a bunch of gibberish. Oh God, there's so many names. The font is so small. Uh, what Eldritch horror is this? Yeah. I feel like if I read these off, Cthulhu's gonna show. Up. Yeah, right. Um, but no, it has a uh, a um, a Leonin's face on it. Yeah, a white and... Leonin's face. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, it is definitely the face that you are, uh, assuming would be there. And if you want it to kind of cycle through, Ooh. you know what I mean? Kind fun. of like a Arya Stark cycle God. through the list of people yes. who just tried to kill you. We could have it do that. <laughs> Cersei. <laughs> Delightful, darling. And he'll whisk the hand mirror away. If you ever need anything fixed, I, you know, I got you. I'm not going to, like, let you walk around with, like, messy fur. Hmm. I uh, do have my own grooming uh, procedure, but thank you for the offer. Just like that, Bronson. Yes, you are. You are quite good. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, God. Bronson, I think your rice is burning. <laughs> no, it's not stuck. It's not stuck. It's just a big. Give me, I'll show you. Uh, can I get somebody Shit. to roll me a d20 for this evening, please? <laughs> Ted's like, for the love of God. No, no, I'm not gonna. I, I'm just. <laughs> this would be the time for more, you know, bugs to show up or something. Mm -hmm. He's a five. All right, you're good. 
Uh, so you have your evening to yourselves, and in some sort of omnipotent force lets you know that you're going to have the night uninterrupted. Uh, it's so weird how every night a voice is just heard from above that we'll be safe. Every once in a while you hear one like in the distance that's like, you better run, and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's nice to be those guys. Well... Anything that's better than a gaslighting uh, mind flyer flare that's trying to sleep with me in my dreams is acceptable. Uh, Has that happened to you before? It's a very specific instance there. <laughs> yes, please. It's an odd dream. I'm sorry. It's a different multiverse. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. We've all been there. Just Have we? I live no. in my own multiverse because I can change my shape so much. Ah, that's mm. fair too. No, I think it's just here. I was just trying to be relatable. If we are going to sleep again, I will take the time to perform a uh, a ritual just around our area, just to make sure that uh, no one dead want to take a peek at us this evening. Just kind of trace, circle around, and spread a little bit of the holy water around where we're sleeping in the campsite. All right. You can uh, you go ahead and do that, and I will give you inspiration for playing into your clerical background. Thank you. Very nice. Um, Shanti, we give you all the praise. Just uh, <laughs> and I and I would like to play into my roguish background by stealing the holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little PvP going on. It'll be fun. Yeah. That the never that never ends poorly. Never. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I yeah. took down the paladin. That's very <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> I keep hearing about. I would have loved to see that. It would have been scary, but I would have loved to see that. I got shot and then stabbed at about two and a half seconds. Oh. And it was yeah. a non-lethal wound. Absolutely. I was careful. Mm hmm. Yes, I, I just, I was just absolutely beat like a sack of potatoes and then, and then mashed and then unconscious and almost blew up. It was a bad day and I'm, I wish you were there. I will never leave you guys again unless you ask me to. Never Fair enough. It. Okay. Uh, well, there's nothing of note for this evening. Uh, you guys will all get in your long rest and then, uh, you wake up in the morning. I wanted you ah. to cat voice so much. Yes, mother. <laughs> Continue to pat it? my bottom. <laughs> She'll talk, speak for herself. Yes. Continue. I mm. am an orange slice. <laughs> oh, that was a surprisingly easy evening in the forest. It was really nice. I got mm. a nice little pile of leaves together, and I put it like in the small of my back, and it really just gave me enough support. <sighs> nice palate. Mm -hmm. Gable uncurls himself from the t smallest, tiniest bowl that he turns into and does the full, yeah, the full mm -hmm. cat stretches. Oh, that's a good boy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, last week we had moments where the microphone got a little too close to some of our people and there was a vague a ASMR reaction. I'm glad that I didn't have it with that one. <laughs> Don't worry. It, my house, anytime the dog stretches, it's a 15 minute monologue of just how good of a boy he is for stretching. Oh, Aww, big stretch. Big Adorable. stretches. That, that's my inner monologue whenever I stretch also. I'm like, doing a great job. That's a big stretch. <laughs> good job, Jake. Good nice, job, Nate. Nice job, Jake. Stretching is great. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no, you deserve that second cup of coffee, and that stretch is good. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> damn right, baby. Self-love's the most important type. Anyway, I, I, I get our overnight oats out, and uh, I add a little bit of milk in there. Overnight um, oats. Yes, we've got dried uh, blueberries and bananas that we put in there, brogenanas. We have brogenanas. Mm-hmm. And uh, we fill that up, and, uh, and mm. yep, we'll we'll heat that up over the remains of the coals of the fire, and then set off. All right, somebody roll me a d twenty for your day as you approach Thunderstruck. Can we get a weather check time. out there as well? Sure. 
damn it. Uh, it Ten. is raining. Struck <laughs> 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 wouldn't be right in the distance. Uh, yeah, not, it'll uh, be. Yeah, it, you can see the dark <laughs> thunder clouds rolling in over Thunderstruck uh, as you approach. Yes. Mm. So <laughs> Out comes the thunder and the lightning here in the wonderful town of uh, Thunderstruck. Let us see. I you it's not as bad as the 40 mile an hour wind and rain that we had. Oh, that fucking my God. Was that just the <laughs> worst? Uh, mm. It was not. It's not a good time. New Hampshire had eight inches of snow that day, though, so I guess we lucked out. It's true. True. Um... Okay, so we have um, some box text here to describe as you approach, uh, approach the town here. Uh, gradually, the trail becomes an old, overgrown lane, winding between dilapidated buildings choked with vines and brush. In the middle of the settlement rises a steep hill upon which stands a stone tower with a partially collapsed roof and an adjoining cottage. A dirt road hugs the base of the hill and wends, I never heard wends its way, W-E-N-D-S, is that a word? Wends its way back between old stone houses. Is that like wines, but past tense? Uh, many of which are roofless ruins. Other buildings appear intact. Uh, the whole place is eerily silent. A wooden sign is nailed to a post nearby. It reads, danger, plant monsters and zombies turn back now. Well, that's an awfully specific sign. Hmm. To wend is to uh, move in a particular direction, especially slowly, casually, or carefully. Ah, interesting. Uh, that's better than my explanation, which was going to be, to wend is to wind, but it's fancily. <laughs> I mean... I mean, essentially. Well... Let me pull up a map. If you're dealing with the undead, uh, you, uh, Bishop, you have your um, magics from above, correct? Mm -hmm. I do, no. yes. Well, I've got this magic in this sword here, and I'll pull the hilt a little bit and see if it's glowing. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me get the, the right map here. Okay, here we can do this map. Um, Where you're at right now, I'm just going to figure out where you guys are coming in. I don't believe it's glowing at the moment. Let me get the map properly set here. I'm just wondering. I think it might. I'm wondering if this is one of those ones where, like, I should just load the DM map that has the numbers so that I could just we could just talk about the same thing. You know what I mean? Where you're like, oh, yeah, U10. We're going to go over towards U10. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Kind of. <laughs> we'll just be careful to be descriptive in our language. Here, I'll just, how about that? I just do this and we'll uncover cover everything. I'll start the session. I think you guys can join now, right? Uh, as we approach, mm. I'm going to dismount the horse and bring our owl bear cub with us and just gently like pet its back, trying to calm it while looking around. All right. So uh. you guys are here. Uh, I read you the little descriptor bit, and you were looking to see if there were uh, undead. Did I give you a radius for that, Jake? Give me a... 120 feet. 120 feet. These are five-foot squares. Yes, it's glowing. Ah, well, here we go. Let's uh, perhaps move in stealthily and be ready to... Face some sort of undead horde in this here town. I guess we should probably just kind of clear it building by building, if that makes sense to everybody else. Yeah, start at U1. Yeah, to the south of us with this kind of halfway ruined looking building here. Mm -hmm. And also we're keeping an eye out for uh, some potion apothecary shop because uh, I guess underneath it, there's this lady's uh, necklace. Well, uh, I'm going to hand the leash for the owlbear cub to Bishop. Just um, hold on to this. I, like, I can do a little bit of scouting if you'd like. Oh, all right. Come here, Richard. He's a good <laughs> uh, boy. 
<laughs> Gable is going to pull the hood up on his uh, cloak and is going to try and stealth around just to spot if there are any ne'er do wells nearby. Okay, where are you heading? I am thinking I would like to head maybe up to like here. Okay. Uh, and you're going to peek inside? Yeah. Go ahead and make me uh, a stealth check. Okay. With advantage, because my hood is up, correct? Sure. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that is a 12. Ooh. Uh, and then That's also, what is your passive perception score? Passive perception is a 16. Nice. Okay. Um... All right. Uh, and I guess this is the other question. You were sneaking up, but you were looking for things specifically? Yeah, I was kind of looking to spot if there were any of these plant monsters and or zombies nearby. And also make me a perception check. Perception. As you are actively looking. Wow. Okay, my dice are mad at me. That is a nine. All right. So right as you kind of from where you're at right there, the the walls are kind of cracked and ruined. You kind of peer inside through a little bit through the cracks. You can't really see too much inside, but the, around the corner there is a very clear um like a doorway there and it does appear that whatever door was there is gone. So it is kind of open if you want to peek around to see what's actually inside the building itself. Um Gable's a curious cat, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, you peer inside, uh, and uh, there's kind of like an old tree. You can see it's kind of around the back there, and it is kind of weed-choked, this house itself. But you look inside. Um, I didn't read the news. There is no roof on this house either. Um, but it doesn't seem to have uh anything um at all inside it uh so it, it just looks like an empty room okay with that in mind i'm gonna kind of just lean back out so they can see me and gesture mm -hmm. that they can move up all right we sneak forward then i suppose uh all right so you guys are all able to move up to you one you see again there's no roof on this building it's pretty ruined uh what would you it seems pretty empty all right um do you guys want me to like go squirrel mode and look around too or eyes couldn't hurt for sure uh perhaps okay. all right I'm, I'm gonna take richard and time up inside of you one here inside of this house okay if that works for everyone because as long as we're sure it's clear all right, I'll go in. Maybe I'll investigate quickly. Sure. <laughs> I was going to say, Gable's making grumpy cat face at Bishop. <laughs> go ahead and make an investigation check. Twelve. Seems clear. Seems clear to me. I'll, I'll put him in like a little pile of rubble. I'll tie him up. Here, you're, you're a good little, little what monstrosity. Is, what is everybody else's passive perception? 16. Yep, got it. 11. Got it. And so. Uh, 14. Okay. I'm sorry, that's my insight. Minus 14. Okay. <clears throat> got it. So, um, when you guys are going all around here, um, you guys can kind of see as you're just chatting about bringing Richard inside and tying him up that kind of flanking either side of the door in like mm. the bush growth underbrush as it were are very clearly two plant creatures that are like perfectly stock still not moving like if they they could very clearly see you but they're not making any moves against you they're just kind of like frozen in place like watching uh, and we'll just say for all intents and purposes, we have a druid in the party and, and things that these are twig blights. There's a twig blight on either side of the door, just like seemingly like 
prepped to attack, but not attacking for some reason. Come on, Richard. Let's just go hang out in here. Do I see these with my 11? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just get you set up. I got to, okay. I bring out his water bowl. Yeah, what? Let's, you know, let's leave Pecker outside by Clarence. That might be better. I'm afraid that Richard will attack Clarence. I really like Clarence. Uh, well, uh, you would all know that that's not an uncommon thing for an owl bear to try Pecker. to do is eat a horse. I think maybe this room is not a good fit for that. All right, come on, yeah, Richard. I, I am inclined to agree. It's not um, suitable for his uh, rest. Uh, There's rocks outside. and plants. It's a lot of There's good stuff. There's a tree blight. There's two of them in there. In my head, they're going to grow up best friends. Clarence <laughs> is actually going to te teach Richard to high prance like a horse. Oh, you I know, see. He's an owlbear. So so they're going to have cool little co-opted habits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love that. So, so uh, wild shapes into a cat. Okay. Yeah. Well, and everybody's drawn to you when you meow. It becomes running. No, no, no I didn't meow. <laughs> Gable, <laughs> Gable does the thing that all cats do where they're, he just gets extremely territorial, like, what are you? <laughs> hey, hey. There's another use for that stone, right? With That makes water. Oh, my exactly. God. You be no, quiet. No. Oh God! All right. Gable, get your shit together. <laughs> I think that needs to be the phrase. Of yeah, that is the clearly the slogan together. of this party. You guys need a name, and then we can come up with a name and a logo, and that's the slogan that goes underneath. Mm -hmm. Let's just get your shit sure. together. I love that. We'll get there anyway. Mm -hmm. What? What now? Well, we'll go have a little cat sneak around between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just, uh, if you're going to go around that, you're going to do, what's your plan to go house by house? Uh, are you going to try to do the whole thing? Like what's your, what, like you're going to go like one, come back, tell the party what's going on or how's, how's this going to work? I was going to go off by myself. Okay. Then. I will uh, go to you three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if you guys oh, are I'm just kidding. You three has a door and I don't know if I can manage that. So I'm going to go to you three. <laughs> You gonna go to you too? <laughs> How like life? Uh, Ugh, a door. <laughs> uh, all right. So for you two, uh, these ruined side by side cottages look as though they might have been the homes of prosperous shopkeepers or well off farmers in their time. All that remains are collapsed walls and piles of debris. Several young trees have grown within the ruins. Um. Do any of us know any background information on Thunder uh, Thunderstruck? Tree? Thunderstruck? Uh, uh, yeah, we talked to Mrs. Dendra. She told us that the place was cleared out uh, because there was an invasion of undead uh, a long time ago at this point, and that uh, her family moved to Fandolin at that point, and she remembers leaving as a kid, and that's uh, where her emerald necklace was left at the old apothecary and that's about it uh, uh i'll give you a little more i'll give you a little more oh, okay awesome um so it was once a pretty prosperous community of like uh fur trappers woodcutters that kind of stuff um but mount hote now which is the volcano to the north erupted about 30 years prior to this and that natural disaster basically just kind of wiped its way through. Not so much the lava, because it's 30 miles away. The lava didn't get this far. But, like, the smoke and the ash and all of the kind of devastation that follows pyroclastic flow just kind of really decimated the town. And everybody kind of had to leave. And in the wake of that is when all these zombies apparently started, te like, sweeping through the area. And that basically either killed or drove off anyone that was there presently at the time. Uh, anybody who survived any of the shit from the natural disaster kind of just left out of there. Um, and uh, basically that uh, has been kind of the the general consensus. It's probably just in the time of 30 years, most of the zombies are probably just dust because they just, you know, eroded away into nothing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, clearly... 
uh, from what you saw and what you've seen just so far, you guys would know, and especially you, Soot, um, Twig Blights, obviously, you know, this is an animated plant creature, right? They're not, um, they're not like a, a, a supernaturally occurring thing, right? Like trees and, and brambles and things don't just animate out of nothing. There's usually, there has to be some sort of like strange kind of pervasive magic that'll go through an area that when things are rooted in it and kind of grow and absorb the nutrients from that soil, it leads to them becoming sentient whether that's post volcano maybe the volcano had something magical to it and that's why something some sort of magic permeates this area to some degree to allow these creatures to exist and enough them that somebody put a sign that specifically warned against them out front you want to make a religion check okay what you got and what for let's go there too so 23 Bronson's just going to hold his shield up, which is his focus, and try to attune to this corruption that is over this plot of land, knowing that we have these corrupted twig blights now. Sure. And sure. zombies. He's just going to try to pick up and see if he can sense what presence is keeping Shantae away from this place okay interesting if there's a greater entity or if it's just the land is blighted okay interesting you said a 23 23 uh all right i wonder how i want to go about this let's see um okay uh so with this um you know, you're obviously pretty knowledgeable about, very knowledgeable about growth, harvest, the lands, that kind of thing, right? As would come naturally to a, a cleric of Shantae, it makes sense. Uh, obviously, again, there was the, the natural disaster of the volcano, right? And then the zombies came from somewhere. Um, it's not, right, you know, we are in Faerun, right? Zombies sometimes just crop up in places. Not super normal uh i'll say you don't think it's tied to that red wizard guy you killed i'll just put that up put that to bed right now it was not Hamoon. he did not do it um he was thinking about it. He, he was thinking about it but it was not him <laughs> what? you'll never know because he's dead um but Oops. uh yeah uh as far as what goes on keeping Shantae away or, or things of that nature. Um, there are, you know, creatures that do have, uh, when they sort of, different kinds of creatures that, powerful creatures that when they kind of take root or establish a base in an area can kind of alter the way things go in that area. You know, uh -huh. they can kind uh -huh. of latch on and, and things of yeah. that nature. So uh, in theory, um, Animating like twig blights, though, that's not like a necessarily a super common thing of um, any specific creatures that you're aware of. That I'm just checking my own words before I go too far. Um, stand by one second here while I read this thing. Standing by. Um, There's a source of corruption here, my friend. Yeah, since it there, you don't know of anything. You again, not uncommon for the um the aspects of a land to shift or change uh, based on powerful creatures taking root in the area. Not you don't know of anything specific that leads to the animations of twig or like plant creatures um you know that there are other powerful plant creatures that do exist shambling mounds and the like and things like that perhaps you know if there's one larger plant entity in here um i mean as a cleric too right you know the concept of like blighters exist right like anti-druids that do things that can kind of work in the opposite way of nature yeah. where they kind of raise 
undead plants, if if you will, which would kind of be where these would more fall into that realm, um, sort of the antithesis of the natural world. So that's not an uncommon thing for them to do, raise these kinds of creatures. Um, I but be on guard. There may be nations that we haven't seen in the form of natural things for large plants and also other than just undead. these small twig blights mm -hmm. mm. thank you DM. interesting yeah no problem for sure yes so we've got plants and undead hmm Turns into a weird tower defense game. Then that. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, LB. Yes, I was getting to what you saw over there. Can you can you make me a perception check? Uh, uh, yes, inspiration I... for Gable. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Uh... In kitty cat form. E yeah. For keen senses, and that's a. Oh, it's a twelve. Uh, you, unfortunately, with the 12, don't, uh, well, no, the, you still keep your wisdom. Oh, sorry. Uh, the cats yeah. have advantage on perception check. Oh, you're right. But Hold you on. still keep your wisdom in right. wild Which shape. Only a plus one more. So, okay, that so makes all the difference, because 13 is the number, so. Oh, go. Um, yeah, you see lurking in the foliage right outside of this place two more of these blight creatures these ones if plants can look hungry these ones look hungry like they're kind of like they're like very eagerly watching as this cat approaches like getting ready to pounce oh boy. Exactly. Oh boy. exactly exactly uh, too big too big uh little little cat so it uh starts walking uh, and you see the hair on the back of her oh. neck stand up, and she kind <laughs> of, uh, like, takes a step, yeah. backs up, yep. and then, like, prances back to Gable <clears throat> and, like, rubs on his <laughs> legs and is like, mm. we'll Put them <laughs> in the proper placement. But yes, that one paw. <laughs> I'm going to do that thing that I've seen a million cats do, and just one paw to the dome. <laughs> Just hold it there. <laughs> By the way, cat, uh, little cat set in my head also has an orange flannel on as well. I don't know why. <laughs> when I, was... I do get to keep one item of clothing. Yeah, so yeah. yes. <laughs> I mean, what a comfy cat. I think comfy... I think we need to do an orange flannel stream. Every one of us <laughs> in an orange flannel oh, I got the with red. a bucket hat. I want the orange. <laughs> uh, yeah, sit, sit with the face, and she like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Ah! <laughs> and I mean, Gable's gonna meow back and just say <coughs> in Tabaxi, "Darling, I know what you're saying. You don't have to meow." Can't speak. Yeah, <laughs> she's a cat. The secret lives of cats. I'm a cat, not a Tabaxi. You don't have um, to speak with animals, Catman. Come on now. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't know how many times he's gone feral. Who renamed me? Never mind that it's my lesser kin. No, I don't know. Uh, uh, smooth brain cousins. <laughs> I'll give Adam meow in the in the area, like a danger meow. Oh, danger meow. All right. <laughs> Those little ones chase after anything, like a little thing on a string. Ooh, a string. <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do about <laughs> these twig blades? What are we doing? Uh, Gable is going to draw his sword. There. Yeah, and, okay. And back up with a uh, little cat suit. Suit. Soot. Suit. Uh, so we are getting closer <laughs> to. <laughs> I got a little cat suit. That knocked you out, Ted, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's the fancier version of suit. Yeah. Suit. Yes, come, up, come, little suit. <laughs> so. Uh, we confused with being asleep. I'll, I'll pull my blade and be like, Gable, what is going <laughs> on? Uh, many of them. Many of them. Many of what? Uh, he'll... It will, uh... Will Suit have pointed <laughs> out where these, where these things we'll are? We'll say yes, yeah. Uh, he'll just gesture with his sword in the direction of the Twig Blights. And we'll say um, that with that gesture, you all now are aware of the four of them that one, are there. They're not... You're not in combat yet. 
what would you like to do? I think we should get rid of these ones and move forward. Is anybody opposed to that? I hope these things don't make a lot of sound and alert everybody else that we're here, but I defer to your judgment. Look, I, I don't want to have guys behind us if we're going to be moving forward deeper into the town. That's all. I mean, if you want to go finish sneaking around and just do like a general survey down the main road and see if there's anything else oppressive. But as far as I'm concerned, I think kind of take them as they come and leave nothing behind. Kind of like the opposite of like national parks. <laughs> well, and Gable will just gesture to the four twig blights by all means. All right. Bronson, are you ready? Born ready. Little uh, cat suit. Adorable. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, come along, little suit. So you guys are going to... Was that... You're moving past or you're fighting? I missed that. Or... I think we're going to fight them. All right. that, I mean, that's my opinion. That's fine. ship's pretty malleable. All right. I will say, uh, I don't know how uh, little cat soot can uh, articulate this, but you would also know in like some sort of divine couldn't be a better suited person for the job t blights are all vulnerable to fire damage which you can't do while in cat form but either way right. um that you is going to drop wild shape <laughs> uh, it doesn't make sense for me to be in wild shape anymore well now you what you you know you do know that and i tell you what we'll do because we actually started relatively on time why don't we take a break, and then we'll come back and roll into combat when we get back from the break. So, why are you a monster fucker? Wait, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Internet. Hey, Internet. How you doing? Wow. That, we... You'll never know who they were talking to. It's true. Who, who could it be? And Droop gets a trinket. <laughs> right as we come back. More importantly... Hang on. Let me pull it up. I'll tell you, Internet. It had been a while. I was waiting. I was a little surprised, honestly, that we'd gone as far as we had without Droop getting a trinket. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Droop. Percentile dice. 11. All right. Droop either gets a blue or red Oni mask. So, yeah. So make it blue so he could be the blue spirit. The blue spirit, yeah. Blue that's <laughs> that that is one hundred percent the inspiration behind the blue part or the blue oni mask. So alright. He's already got one Dragon Ball too, so we're working our way. We'll see. We're working our way. Uh alright, so you guys wanted to fight some twigs. Well right? <laughs> when you phrase it like that. <laughs> yes, absolutely we do. All right. I hope to come across this combat without dying. Okay. So what is the plan? Everybody's just going to go all at once, or how are we doing this? Yeah, I think we ambushed these twigs in one horrific uh, bop. <laughs> all right. Uh, LB, roll me a d20. Rolling. Uh, 19. All right. You guys are going to go first. They don't really know. They're not really suspecting you guys at the moment. What are you guys planning to do? Uh, I would like to take advantage and move right next to this one. Uh -huh. Uh, just to position myself so that when it's time, stab. <laughs> okay. well, uh, but we're going to count it as your guys. Uh, like oh, surprise round? Yeah, basically, you guys beat it, so go ahead. Uh, I just kind of rolled them all at once, so. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I will hang out next to Gable until he stabs his, and then I'll move forward. All right, go ahead and make an attack roll. Can I? Uh, no, I already rolled. It's fine. Yep, cool. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. My my rolls are not the best today. Uh, that will miss. Damn it. Okay. Well, there goes that. Ah. All right, I'll stab that guy. All right. Natural 20. Well, Don't damn, Jake. Thank you. <laughs> well, damn. Hey, just rolling hot today. That's all. 
Mm -hmm. Just happens every once in a while. I just absorb everybody else's good luck. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 points of damage. All right, you obliterate this twig blade. Nice. <laughs> I just couldn't find like where the actual body was. I just keep hitting twigs. I mean, we're this third edition. That would be a very real thing. It's it. It's the face. You see the little face. That's where you just kind of. No, you guys keep pointing out a face, and I just see d leaves and twigs. I don't see. Do you have to cross your eyes like one of those paintings? Is a hidden image. Uh, who's next? No, I think you just have like a. I don't know. Just to imagine. Just use a little imagination. Sit motions to Bronson. All right, Bronson. I guess you're up. All right, I will rush ahead on Suits Command. Let's go. All right, what is your move here? You've got these three guys. I am going to swing my wool hammer. All right. Go ahead and make I heard this. wool. Like wool, wool hammer. hammer. Wool <laughs> hammer. And uh, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to, Flip my shield uh, onto my uh, onto my back, and I'm gonna swing two-handed. All right, let's see it. I like it. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> completely miss this guy with a seven. <laughs> yep. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, so you got three guys left. Your party went uh, three attacks. Use my bonus action to immediately pull out my shield back. <laughs> out one motion. So yeah, fair. Using, uh, top guitar flip. Sure, I like uh, it. So Soot hesitates uh, and pulls out her bow and tries to attack the this guy over here. All right, go ahead. Uh, I rolled I think five. Wow. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, uh, then it's going to, I guess it'll be their turn. This guy is going to go for you, uh -oh. Soot. This guy's going to go for you. I feel you. like I shouldn't get attacked. Why? I killed my guy. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm kidding. I, I, that guy should stab me. I was going to have him stab you anyway. But, uh, Bronson 16 misses you, right? Yes. Oh, uh, and an 11 misses you, LB. And oh, yes. and that misses you, Jake. Back oh, around. God. All right, guys. Come on. We could do this. Uh, I'll move around to the side. Sure. So, uh, and I will attack that one. Can I use my bonus action for insightful fighting first? Would, uh, for the advantage? Yeah, because I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll have sneak attack regardless because you have an ally. You have a better use for your bonus action, but obviously go ahead. They had to make a deception check, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I have to beat your deception. Oh, the well, plants. They're really Fuck good. you! God bless it. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with my roll. My... <laughs> 13 well they got a zero so okay <laughs> they're literal plants okay well it was a uh, four minus four so it was a zero <laughs> they're literal plants another quote from this session <laughs> uh thank you that's i mean it's a 19 on the die that hits uh, 25 uh we're going to do my Piercey Pierce. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 17 points of damage. All right. That one is gone. Nice. All right. Uh, and he is going to remain there. All right. Because if he moves right. away, that thing's going to get an attack. That's fair. I rolled an 11 to hit. You miss. Bronson. <laughs> the fastest turn in D and D history. <laughs> Spear my shield back again. Let's go. Two handed war. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna and send my lightning shock out. All right, let's nice. see what you got. Eighteen. That'll hit. Well, there is a way to six do six points. Lightning damage. Six is enough. Ah. You destroy that twig blight. Uh, so there's one left. Uh, I will stab at it with a dagger. I rolled a 20. That hits. Nice. For, ooh, max damage, seven. Woo. That's enough. All dead. 
Yay, <sighs> team. Good job, guys. We did it. This is what victory feels like. You gain two experience. Uh, there is a house you can inspect that you have not inspected as of yet. Is that number three there? Oh, uh, you didn't actually go inside two. They were outside of it. Oh, okay. I'll All go right. in and look in, in two. All right. I will as well. Make me an investigation check, LB. Let's see how you do. I got this. I'm great at investigating. Can't tell if it's Stop. sarcasm or not. I have plus zero. Uh, that's a 13. 13 is enough. You find a flagstone on the floor that is you're able to wiggle loose. And inside is a chest amongst that and the roots that have kind of started to grow through there. You extricate the chest and inside it are money trackers of the game 1400 Ooh. copper pieces 160 silver pieces and 90 gold pieces Ooh. this appears to have maybe been as you said earlier possibly a merchant's house perhaps or a farmer or somebody um yeah. not the one that you were looking for with the necklace mm -hmm. yeah uh what kind of stone was this house made out of uh, as far as just like the general construction of the house itself. So obviously we have a flagstone here floor. Uh, I'm gonna say just based on, uh, we'll probably say like, I guess maybe like granite block. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Not, it's paper. not like we're in a fantasy I world. Know. Granite yeah. is not a fancy thing here. No, no, <laughs> it's what's around Ooh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling in money. It's not like this is a nice yeah. polished countertop. Ah, yeah, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. Um, we want a strong, sturdy block that's not like limestone. Obviously, it also withstood, you know, whatever kind of uh, barrage of, of natural disasters from the aftermath of the volcano. Right, certain lesser stones would obviously. Cr I mean, some have crumbled, but still. Little stones. Okay. Gable is going to sneak up to you three. Okay. Us three. Uh, <laughs> a weathered signboard by the door of this large building shows the faded image of a workhorse holding a flagon of ale. The building is sagging and dilapidated, but it is more intact than the ruins across the road. I assume the door is closed, right? Uh, yes, it is. Are there any windows or anything? Uh, bu 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 let's say no. Yep. Um, I'd like to quietly try and open the door. Okay, make me a stealth sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Sleight of hand is a plus six. That is a natural 20 for 26. Okay. No sound. Door opens. Oh, he's good. He's very good. <laughs> Some might say I'm the best, and I'm going to slink inside while keeping my head on a swivel. Okay. Uh, you can kind of see that kind of the main area you walk into of this building, um, which is like right... Uh, I don't have the ping set up, but like the main area that you're heading into right now uh, is kind of... Um, looks like there's like a bar here. Like this maybe was some sort of like alehouse, perhaps. Um, so upon your entry into this a bar, you hear uh the prototypical kind of moaning and groaning that you've become familiar with as six zombies rise from under the bar. And start to shamble towards you. It's, Fucking Hamun. It's though it's not as Fucking though Hamun. these things are um uh like it's not like you made noise and they found you. It's like the presence of something living. Mm. Is what did it, okay. not you. 
Um, I'm uh, and when you said moaning back behind the bar, I was like, Bronson drops his head in and drops a little, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> you, no. can, oh, in there. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly try to get a, oh, yeah, out of the zombies. I don't think you're gonna get one, though. Gonna get a whole, <laughs> Less teeth, please. Do I have time to do anything, or is it gonna jump into initiative? Um, it, it uh, tell me what you're gonna do. And I'll tell you uh, if you have the time. I would like to bonus action disengage to yeah. get the fuck out of the box. Yeah, you're able to <laughs> kind of tumble backwards out the door and get away from them as we roll into initiative for this. The minute I, that I hear them. Yeah. Can I roll maybe for a reaction or a, 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 an attempt? Because I've been I've been on edge about the uh, undead. Uh, hey, hey, how about this? Okay. What about like uh, advantage on the initiative? Give me sure. a chance on the roll. I'll give you it. Right. Yeah, fine. I'll give it to you. Cool. He's such a Thank nice you. DM, guys. He's so <laughs> nice to his players. Just, just wait. I'm still gonna roll a three, <laughs> but I'm feeling like, Nat twenty. Yes. Ask dice gods what rolls. You give them the rolls. <laughs> Damn. Get your shit together. <laughs> he did. He took his <laughs> shit and he got it together. He put it in a bag. <laughs> shit. Put it together. Uh, <laughs> what do you got, Jake? Uh, I, f- I rolled. Ah, uh, I forgot. Uh, Twelve. Uh, Four and... zombies are gonna roll nat twenties on this as well. And what did you <laughs> in front of me? What did you get? Uh, uh, game. Eleven. I got you, oh. son. I saw yours in the chat. Uh, I also got twenty-two, but I mean, natural twenty would trump. My yeah, the excitement of it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. day that I don't get excited about nat 20s, it's time to stop, put them up. Absolutely. True story. Man. All right, uh, Bronson. I would love to slam my hammer onto my shield and let that sucker glow with the emblem of Sean T and shine that light of turn <coughs> undead. Yeah. Channel divinity. All right, and I gotta make a wisdom saving throw, yeah. Right? Is that yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, for these zombies with their negative two wisdom. Oh. Uh, that is uh. a, that is an eight, my friend. It's hard with the headphones. <laughs> so they are all gonna fail your turn on dead roll. Let's go. I wish I was cool enough to just, like, Destroy make him? him go poof, but I'm not. Um, yeah, not yet. Level three still. Uh, what is it low level? I think they just scared of me, maybe? Um, yes. They gotta run away for a minute. Yeah, either way, they're gonna pile up over in the corner going, ooh, ooh. It's just like, it's like that Ak Inc. game all over again. These guys are all scared <laughs> in the corner. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> I know they're undead and monstrous and stuff, but, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Yeah, I believe they are all, like, they can't do anything. They're like terrified of you and they are in the corner hidden until I think somebody attacks them. Or yeah, I'd like until the next should. minute or so. So yeah, roll roll a little bomb in there. Anybody got any smoke powder from the you know the Smurf Neblin to throw in there to blow them all up? Is there smoke <laughs> powder bombs to throw in, in there? I think we focus fire one at a time over the next minute and just fucking all stab one. And the next turn, all stab the next one. All right. Uh, well, given the way Turn on Dead works and the fact that they all failed, they do not get a chance to do anything until they have taken damage. So, to that point, I will let you. You have 10 turns. In theory, sick. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead, and we'll start with one, and we'll see how everybody does with, you know, working on one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> this is more than fair. Uh, seventeen to hit. Their armor class is eight. So okay, you guys cool. can just tell me what the damage is, and then I will Nine. tell you. Nine points of damage, okay? You know what? Fuck it. They have 22 hit points. When we hit 22, we'll move on to the next one, all right? How about that? We'll just go through. Right. Let's great. Let's just do... We'll just get it done. 
They're not reanimating? I'm going to wait till we hit 22 points, and then we'll, I'll give it a shot. Okay. okay, cool. This is grim work. Gable's going to be a little uncomfortable doing this, actually. Mm. But he'll he'll stab one. Okay. Let's see it. 14 points of damage. All right. That I assume, is... I'm assuming that I'm going to have somebody right next to me. It's yes. me. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this one will not reanimate. But when it dies, a puff of ash roils off of it. <laughs> and there is a cloud of ash in its space that <laughs> lasts for five minutes and obscures vision. So all attacks are made at disadvantage. Damn it. <coughs> so don't you... <coughs> so don't you just have a... A fire thing to get rid of them all at once. Yeah, You're muted, I, darling. Oh, there you are. Oh, ah. I, I guess I, I don't know if I should do that. What? Use a spell? Why not? Well, what do you mean, why not? <laughs> She's been avoiding it on purpose. You haven't noticed? I mean, I, I don't see any problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what everyone everyone back up okay just back up for a second hey you don't have to do this no i can do something else okay i back um, up can i use a reaction to to bless <laughs> soot yeah sure i'll let you do it we're kind of like out of we're in like a weird pseudo out of combat anyway, yeah, so yeah. I'll let you do it anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. So, you got this. You're in control. Yeah. We believe in you. We got your back. Okay, that's moonbeam, so I don't think it's gonna do the thing, but I mean just in case. We got your Ooh. back, whatever you decide to do. <laughs> Ted <laughs> You're in control. It's the worst spell. Oh, come on. <laughs> I need them all to make a constitution saving throw, please. You got it. That is a fail. That is a 10 plus 3, and I think your DC is 14, right? Yes. Yep. Go ahead and roll me 2d10. Oh, this one is being extra. Uh, That's 13 damage. Thirteen radiant. In radiant damage. And it kind of just <laughs> down on all of them. They all will take... 13 oh. points of radiant damage. And let me just take a look here at Moonbeam. I wish it would let me click it in the thing that let me pull it up, but it doesn't. Rem read me. By the way, uh, so if you make a saving throw uh, in the next yeah. 24 hours, you can add a 1d4 to it. Hell yeah. Oh, wow. So it uh, creates a spell area first time on a turn or starts its turn there engulfed in ghostly ghostly flames that cause searing pain. Constitution saving throw, 2d10 radiant damage. On a failed save, half as much on a successful one. Um, All right. Uh, well, you know, following the logic of the spell, you summon it. That's the first time on the turn. They're all in it. It's their turn. Roll your damage again. Okay. <laughs> That's a... T uh, that's seven. It's the last to always be moonbeaming. Well, they all, all the remainders, I'll let the rest of you act. All of them have two hit points currently from your double moonbeam. Um, double moonbeam. <laughs> I would like to cast uh, Word of Radiance. Yeah, that's what a con save for that one, too. Yes, DC 14. All right, just roll a two. And not a one on this D4 or whatever it is. Yeah. I got a four Ooh. on my All D6. right, all right. So, and realistically, you would have done that at the same time. So, uh, they all got to make con saves to try to reanimate. Snap, crackle, pop. Okay, that was like three under five. Right, we're good. They're all dead. All the zombies are dead. It's just a big nice. old pile of ash. Ash clouds in this room. Good job, everybody. 
Uh, I look at Soot. Is she still? She's Soot. All right. Hmm. Despite everything. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Okay. I don't know my ring. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm going to go through this door then, I suppose. This other door. Ooh, okay. Uh, all right. I would I'm like... Check all... it for traps. I would like all of you to roll me a d20. Yep. Nope. 19. <laughs> Not me. 19. All right. Not you. One. It really Eight. is feast or famine over here. It's a four. Yeah. Four and LB? Eight. All right. Uh, I rolled for Droop 2, you bunch of heathens in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, it was whoever rolls the highest gets the trinket. And yes, uh -huh. I rolled for Droop because I knew they were going to ask me to do it anyway. Uh -huh. Jake, you won with the highest Yay. roll. Go ahead and roll me a percentile, sir. Let's see what you find. 84. 84 in this house. You already rolled in that. In this house. Roll Go again. Ahead. Roll again. Uh, 67. So close. Almost One nice. One IOU for a woman of the night in Luskin. <laughs> <laughs> you find, a thing. Jake, a long brown duster that symbolizes your stance from an old war. What? Yeah. <laughs> a, dus a duster okay. is a coat. It's a long... It's... No, no, I know what a duster... I just... I... Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it could also be Eberron. The jacket. That also could be. Coming to a D&D &D store near you. <laughs> yeah. A, a long Shiny. duster that symbolizes... Your stance during an old war. Okay. Or this person's stance that they found here right, in the house. Right. Maybe you agreed with them, probably. Okay, I just... I didn't know what war we were potentially talking about, and I didn't want to have a weird... This is a Brosian Empire duster, we'll say. <laughs> wow! Yes. Look at the thread count. It's beautiful. <laughs> I whip it on. I look it... really cool. I, I lead against the wall and light up a cigarette. <laughs> I, I lead behind the bar and grab a bottle and shoot a shot. Mm. I just... I it's just, just dust. approach soot. <laughs> And I just do a little <laughs> shoulder push. Mm, I drink from my water <laughs> it, it does. It does specifically say that all of the ale is long gone. Ah, uh, this is slow. It looks nice. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's real neat. I like it. I pressed it digitated so it's not covered in zombie ash. <laughs> mm. That's fair. Well, mm. this place is terrible. So are are you feeling all right? Yeah, I think so. I don't, I didn't, like, I don't think I blacked out, right? No, no, not even a little bit, and that's great. You kept all your shit together. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> At the moment, right now, uh, Bishop, your rapier is not glowing. I think we killed all the zombies right here in this area. <laughs> now we just gotta look out for the little plant men. Uh, I would like to examine the door that is in U3 leading into that further, that next room. Sure. Um, is it locked? Is it broken down? Anything like that? Uh, it is not locked, and it just appears to be just like a regular interior door. So you should be okay. able to open it. Similarly, just to be on the safe side, never mind the fact that we're making a bunch of noise in this room, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to open it quietly and peer into the next room. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check for me. That is an eight. Mm. Cool. <laughs> the door creaks open uh, <laughs> and you look inside. I just wanted to hear the sound just once. Uh, and uh, it is totally empty. It is looks like it might have once been like a kitchen. Uh, there's a faint <laughs> smell of yeast that just permeates the air. Um. Gable, Gable does the thing that cats do where they like are like a little too intensely smelling something and go like, um, "Smells like a brewery in here." Yeah, it it does. It looks like as though potentially there are like um, large wooden barrels and things in here and, and different kind of brewing style equipment that looks like they might have at a point this kind of outer area kind of being a bar like this may they may have brewed stuff on site although most of the 
per- anything perishable is long gone. Mm. Fuck it, I'm curious. Uh, can I roll it like an investigation to see if there's anything salvageable in this room? Sure. Yeah, yeah. This is the theme of the night. Uh, that is another eight. Oh no, look good. Oh, look really good in there. Um, unless you want some rot and broken down barrels, not really. Hmm. Sort of boring in here. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Hmm. On to the next one, then. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so you guys mm-hmm. are heading out, I guess. Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> Jesus That's Christ. That's not shit. All the girls want to I knew that was going to happen. I, I, I saw it a mile away. Uh, <laughs> oh, <Russian laughs> bananas. B R O J A A M. All right. I, I, if we're gonna just follow this systematically, we're heading to U four. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move our map for the people at home to see. I'm just gonna constantly push myself just like a foot in front of Bishop anytime <laughs> we walk together. No, I'll check out this one. All right. No, it's fine. I've got this one. It's all right. All right. Hey, let's just go together then. Uh, fine, fine. And we're like forced to walk side by side. <laughs> Kind of like shouldering each other a little bit. Get out of here. Uh, I'm, I'm the better it. rogue. <laughs> Looks to Bronson and goes, is this posturing? I think so. Uh, I'll roll stealth. This, okay. And I'll tell you, I'll give you the box text while you roll stealth. Right. This small house is in better condition than the dilapidated structures nearby. The doors are reinforced with heavy iron bands and thick shutters protect the windows. Uh, I rolled uh, with advantage with my boots a natural 20 for 28. <sighs> Damn, Jake. All right. Just... I rolled advantage with my cloak and I got a dirty 20. All right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no okay. Water with these two. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So this place is all boarded up then. It does seem to be reinforced, yes. Okay. Do we perhaps with our stealth hear anything going on inside? Well, I don't hear with stealth usually. I hear with perception. But oh, if you want to make no. a perception check, you sure. can go ahead and do that for me, Jake. Okay. That seems our DM chose sass. That's reasonable. Fine. Woke up today and chose vibe. <laughs> right. mm. I I'm just looking at Gable, watching him try to be stealthy. I roll an eight. <laughs> You're so focused like, on like <laughs> okay, because, because he rolled an eight because he's paying attention to me. I rolled a natural one because I paying attention to Bishop. <laughs> it's just like I imagine it's kind of like a mirror, you know, like the mirror scenario that happens in all the shows where like someone's dressed like somebody else and they're trying to do the mirror thing. But it's both <laughs> yeah. of you just trying to be quiet, but like looking at each other like and nobody's actually listening to what's going on inside the building. Um, so yeah, it seems empty, maybe. I think oh, it's please. empty. Oh, please, by all means. All right. Um, if I go to the north, this door here, <sighs> is it also boarded up? It is, yeah. Okay. Oh, very well. Now, do we just have to bust this door? Maybe we should circle back towards this one instead of making a loud noise. Oh, yes, let's take our time. I mean, God forbid. Uh, it, it's I I don't know. Is it locked? Do you check? Or <laughs> it just sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, if it's it's I not. I would like I would like to continue this random rivalry. Uh, <laughs> and as as Bishop is, are you trying to are you trying to lock it? I'm trying. <laughs> are you trying to lock the door on him before he can check if it's unlocked? I, you know, I would like to use the hinder action to impose, <laughs> impose disadvantage. Uh, I will say when you move down here towards this, uh, your your uh, rapier starts glowing again, but not as like. Doesn't seem like it's on the other side of this door, if that makes sense. OK, like yeah. the, it, the, it's a fainter it. glowing here. Not you this. can't hinder this gender. <laughs> Go ahead and I guess. Uh, you you check the door. Ahead. No, it's unlocked. The door is not locked. Okay. Hey, 
Stop it. Yeah. Oh, I could have told you that. I was just preventing you from wasting any more time. Mm -hmm. I open the door. Okay. Uh, you open the door. More quietly than Gable <laughs> opened the door in the, in the bar. You open up the safe. The bitch has got a lot to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you see uh, kind of like tend like making or in the process of making a fire back turn to you uh you see a uh a woman like hunched over green robes gray hair um you can see uh that kind of curled around her feet while she's in the process of this is a red fox and like on her shoulder are like a couple of birds um and she like strikes is like in the process of striking uh, you know, the flint and tinder or flint and steel rather trying to make a, a fire and she hears the door open and she goes, oh, mm -hmm. she turns around. She says, oh, hello. 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 What, what brings you to Thunderstruck? Oh, well, you know, we had heard that there was some. Oh, come in, come in, come in. Oh, come, yeah, come on, of course. I, hey, I was well, just getting ready to make some lunch. Guys, did you come walk, on did in. you just walk right in that front door? He really did. Yep. Holy yeah. shit. Gable, Gable face palms a little bit as he just watches Bishop go, okay. <laughs> Guys, I've I've never rolled better than a five on an insight check. I decided I, to just fail them. Uh, <laughs> I like that. an insight check. I love that that's the, re the rationale. Oh, I look over at Soot. I think his urge to lose his virginity may be too strong. <laughs> 20, 26 <laughs> on my insight yeah, on this lady. Um, it's like, what, 24? Uh, and you're just trying to tell, like, what are you you're inciting to see? If there's any malicious intent, is this... He's got a fox. So... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we weren't around for it. We were talking show oh. Firefox this whole time before we started. <laughs> Except for me, because I usually <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um Yeah, uh no, you don't sense any malicious intent from <laughs> this woman. This creepy old woman who's starting a house fire. She's trying to make it in in the fireplace. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll head, help her out. I'll head set head up my she teapot. Was crazy. She's doing it on the floor in this. <laughs> no, there's like a fireplace with like you know, there's oh. like a call, like a call, we'll call it a cauldron, a pot that she's trying oh, to no, make she a. Does have a cauldron. God, everybody goes to hag. Can't just be a nice old lady in the woods. I think it's surrounded a nice old lady. by undead. <laughs> She's just been... I would, I would like to look back at Soot and fuck. <laughs> it's casual survivor. Out Jesus, here. I'll look back at them and kind of like wave them down, like it's fine, and then step in. Uh, would you like some assistance in lighting that fire, darling? And she says, "Oh no, I'll be able to get it. I just." Sometimes I prefer to do things the old-fashioned way, but now I have guests, so I feel like we should just make this quick. And she just kind of like snaps her fingers and the fire poof, just lights. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not All right. There. Would you like some tea, ma'am? <laughs> oh, I do love a good tea. Mm, fantastic. Come in, I'll, I'll make my soup. Teapot. And oh. she... Wonderful. <laughs> I'll pink my head out. Be like, Bronson, so come on in. There's soup on. <laughs> Love this. Uh, is Bishop's sword sheath? Uh, I can't no. see it glowing. No, it's glowing, but it doesn't feel like it's glowing from. It's, it's a fainter. It's a dead. It is a fainter glow. Uh, in a very much Lord of the Rings style, right? It grows brighter when the undead are closer if that makes sense right so like when you were in that room with all the ash zombies it was like a bright glow okay, so it's like a faint glow because it wasn't there and then you yeah. moved further south and it started to glow and it's glowing faintly now but yeah what's your name uh oh, yes. we're intruding on your your home here we, we've 
We've run into oh, this is a, that's a, yes. Oh, I, uh, oh, I know there, there, there's something. Have you been surviving? I don't live here permanently. This is just the, the, the building that I stay in when I come to the village, when I come oh. to camp here. And, and where do you usually reside? My name is Bishop, by the way. Oh, and she says my name is Rydoth. Rydoth, yes. Rydoth, that is a beautiful name. And she says I live in the woods. And she gestures over to like the Neverwinter Woods. But it's I, what? I mean, as far as woods go. Now, how do you keep away from the giant mosquitoes? If I could be so bold as to ask. Oh, that, that's a good question. <laughs> Well, you know, I do make my own bug repellent. I can show you how to make it. I would be delighted. And she has, like, like there, as you kind of look around the room, you can see that there are, like, flasks and baubles and things. Uh, and then there's, like, there's books. There's, like, a mortar and pestle and cut up bits of different trees and plants and things strewn about. Everything that's making Bronson just totally on edge over here, and Robert on edge mm -hmm. as well. I don't care if it's Radagast the Green, this old woman's crazy. <laughs> Start fires on her floor. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not that. I think that's further in the town. But no, this is just where I choose to stay. That's why I reinforced the windows and the door to make sure that, you know, the while there are, it's. Uh, there are obviously the the zombies and then there's also some weird plant creatures i'll also tell you that mm -hmm. towards the base of the hill there's some quite large spiders that i would keep my eye out for oh and well since we're all friends here i've seen people in black masks and cloaks skulking about lately okay really? but well so she says well I mean, perhaps you couldn't tell, or perhaps, and she kind of like looks over at Bronson, or maybe you have the wrong idea about me, but I am a local druid, and I come here to keep eye on the town from time to time. May I, may I ask what kind of uh, druidic magics you practice? Sure, we didn't get that far, but let's say of the land. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me read my NPC card. <laughs> I don't have that. But she says, and I, and she will flash a pin that I many of you that. will recognize as an Emerald Enclave pin. Oh. And she says, I'm a member of the Emerald Enclave. We are all about protecting the natural order of nature, which is why I try to do what I can about keeping... This one was once a thriving town. There's all sorts of strange magic afoot. But anyway, probably what say. worries me the most, and she will, like, call you in close, is the dragon. There's a green what? dragon that recently settled into the tower to the north in town here. Is that right here? <laughs> yeah, yes, it's right over there. If you had to know, it'd be you seven. If I had to, yeah, no, look at it, this useful map right here that you've labeled for us. Yes, I would call it U7 if I were to give it a number. His name is Venom Fang. Oh, that's a cool name. It is, but he's still yeah. a dragon and he's green, so that probably means he's evil. Yep, they can find eyes liars. We're going to look past how problematic that sentence was. Yeah. And, uh, how... How long well, it's like raising an owl bear, you know. Sometimes it's nature versus nurture, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. if you get a dragon from an egg, maybe you can break that habit. But this one's a jerk. I don't like the specific oh. example you used, but let's move on. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it is a dragon. Oh. No, no, it is a green dragon. I would dragon. not like, I mean, what's your definition of big, dearie? I would say it's a young dragon, if I had to put an age oh. to it. I listen. I'll be honest. It's nice to see you here, but I'd probably leave before you get killed. Yeah, you look like, and like... she like points at you. She's like, you could probably turn into like a bird, or a squirrel, or a snake, or a worm. Okay. No one will be able to. to the, or the dragon won't come after you because it's probably not going to go for a worm. 
But you guys look like you might have adventurers gear because you seem to be adventurers. Dragons like that. I really wanted hmm. Rhydos to just keep <laughs> listing out all the animals that suck and turn into <laughs> for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> the true Bubba Gump shrimp moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. That could turn into an otter, <laughs> jay, a squirrel. There's a listen, lot of things listen, you listen, can. Listen, listen. Uh, uh, a lot of creatures could be a magic car. <laughs> I will send pickles to go over and play with the uh the fox. And uh, she's like, Oh, that's just Mozilla, my fox. What a beautiful little creature. You look so oh. useful. <laughs> well, you, you know, so it's, nice it's, it's uh, all right. It looks, you know. It's that's certainly Thunderbird, like my it bird. used to have let many people playing with it, but now it doesn't anymore. How strange is that? <laughs> I know you want to talk about a thing like that. Look at Thunderbird, my bird. It used to be very useful. People switched to browser-based email clients, and it's not a thing anymore. <laughs> I some of those words. Oh. But I'm only yeah, I was gonna say you guys. Some of you guys are on point with me. You know Thunderbird. You know. Oh. Oh. Dad, you get an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Thunderbird. <laughs> oh, uh, for those of you youngins, it, it, well. I was going to say for you youngins in the crowd, uh, back before we had browser based email, everybody had an email client on your computer, usually provided by your ISP. And Thunderbird was basically Mozilla's email client that would remove a lot of the other nonsense. It was a really cool logo too back in the day. Great co-opted Native American Thunderbird. <laughs> like <laughs> But anyway, I'm I'm anyway. going to I'm going to pull out uh cuz I always have that extra good berry. Mm. And I will uh, uh what was your name again? Right Rydoth is my name. Rydoth. Mm -hmm. uh, just in case you get hungry. Well, I do appreciate it. I am still going to make the soup if you'd like some. Indeed, you can use this for later when you're um back out on the trail. Mm. No, that thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, I realize your finest. Well, that is all right by me. Oh, praise the great mother. I have a question for mm. you, darling Rydoth. Yes. If you are aware that there is a a young green dragon on these premises, and you Correct. continue to visit and camp. Surely there must be something more to what uh, your presence here means. Is there something specific you're looking for? Well, I'm trying to, I do my best to keep the forces of, of nature at bay and, and, and keep things in balance. Uh, the elemental forces of nature and things, as is what a druid would want to do. But... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm just one old woman. You should have seen how many zombies were here before I came into town, let me tell you. Can I as roll insight on that? Sure can. As long as that green dragon is here, there's, it will continue to corrupt this land. Green dragon's bad? Yes. This one specifically, he's a jerk. Oh. <laughs> he's a bit of a well, dick. can't abide that. <laughs> I got a I twenty-two. Oh, sorry. Uh, you you don't think she? You think it does seem like she is being quite genuine, and she she is quite literally. She's not. Uh, she's not an elven woman. She's a human woman. So she's an older human woman who is here doing her best. And like, just your general knowledge of the Emerald Enclave is they are a wide sweeping organization that covers the entirety of the Sword Coast, and it's just like. There's a lot of nature to keep an eye on and a lot of the whole like civilization encroaching on nature. How do we handle this? There's obviously a political aspect in some areas, but like she's like this town was once a flourishing part of nature and it's been corrupted by a natural disaster and then undead and all sorts of other weird stuff. And now a dragon and, uh, you know, uh, she's here doing her best. But uh, like much okay. like a certain other party might be like, well, I cleared up this house of zombies. Time to go take a long rest. <laughs> Can only do this so often, you know, before I get yeah, tired. I She's well, a seventy-year-old human, so there's not a whole lot of lives left, like a seventy-year-old elf. All right. Right. Exactly. So she's in doing her best. 
Take it a measured approach. We can okay. all appreciate that. Listen, I, I'm not going to presume because you all seem like you're pretty... Even pretty young in, in the grand scheme of things. I don't mean to presume, but listen, I mean... I would, I want the dragon gone, but I don't feel like you all, I mean, if you all are willing to give it a go, that would be great. But I don't know if that's something you're feeling up to. I know you're all adventurers and fight taking on a dragon is a lot, so I'll give you a listen, it's fine. But if you would Did like- Did you just straight up saying that we're not capable of killing this dragon? That's what it feels like. I feel like she's like trying to neg us into fighting this dragon. No, no, I'm not trying to neg you into fighting the dragon. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I would like it driven. I would, if we could drive it off. You don't even have to kill it. Just scare it away or damage it enough so it runs away. Shoo. I mean, if I'll you think that that'll work, five. give it a shot. But um, all I'm saying is it's here, and I don't want it to be here, and obviously my order would prefer it to be gone, but they're not really giving me a whole lot in the way of resources. I'm making soup on the ground. <laughs> I mean, come on! Hey, I feel you. I feel like me and Bronson have helped with this soup. I don't know, I don't know if Stutz can cook it all, because she grew up. Real rich, and I don't think Gable's ever cooked any. He, he'll eat something raw before he cooks. I've been sure for years. You're not wrong. I know how to cook. You guys just always cook. Yeah, well, I mean, we're good you at it. You can join in. We're always looking for side dishes. No. You drop you the know, main dish. If you drop the main dish, we'll go side. Much. Like You guys. You mm -hmm. guys talk about it so much that I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm right there with you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to <laughs> add to this. Sounds great. So All right, I'm going to make some quick oyster crackers. Mouth. We have <laughs> delicious skewers. So right, what fine. she she'll tell you and she'll go on to say, well, what I can tell you is obviously there was those strange people in the black masks and the black cloaks, which I also don't like the look of, but there's a few of them. And I'm not really sure they're skulking about. In this town. In the so further day. I saw them. Yes, I saw them not that long ago. I snuck in here in squirrel form, and they didn't find me. And you said that these cultists are involved with the green worm. I can't say that for certain, but given what I know of the existence of the cult of the dragon and the fact that they like to wear black, although most cultists do, I saw about six of them. So I would warrant a guess that perhaps the cult of the cult of the dragon are helping the worm in some way. Also, for adventuring types, I'll throw it out there: the dragon set up shop, so there may be a—it's a small little tower, but there may be a whatever it considers a hoard. So consider that. Perhaps there may be things for looting. It's also Very a. Pr helpful. We appreciate it. Well, you know. Druids gotta stick together. Exactly, as you understand. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we think? What's our goal in this town? It was to find some necklace in an apothecary shop, but I don't know about you all. I'm not quite in a um, dragon slaying mood. Mm -hmm. However, we travel together. It's whatever you decide, I will go along with. I'll be um, honest, I'm not gonna be able to sleep knowing that dragon's out there, but today is not that day to take that dragon on. We need to collect a few more materials. Hmm. She says, well, I, I, I give you a little rundown of the buildings for what I know was once a thing. <laughs> if you're curious. I've got these blueprints on hand in case you want to plan a heist. <laughs> well, I went to the public works department. <laughs> If you don't want the information, I'll keep it to myself. No, no. no. Look. <laughs> Viloth, you have been just fantastic. And we are happy to have you. Ignore my silly companions. Ted with the Uno reverse card. That's right. I can do it all day. Um, <laughs> Loud and down. She says, she says, well, you know, if I'll I had to pull... over on this stew and you can go ahead and help out my friend and... She'll point out on your map that U6 uh, used to be a store of some kind. Um, maybe a general store. She's not exactly sure. U7 
on the map is the tower. That's the presence where the dragon is inside. As far as she oh, knows. Oh, shit. It's that close. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She'll yeah. tell you there was an old blacksmith shop. Was U8? I'm just going to reveal the entire map for you guys. How about that? Here's the whole all map. All right. That sounds great. All right. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Reveal all. I meant to grab the wrong thing. All right. So uh, U8 used to be an old blacksmith shop. She thinks potentially there was like a, you know, an herbalist. Maybe this is your apothecary shop was U9. Mm -hmm. uh, she thinks uh, U11 used to be like the old garrison for the troops that used to live here uh, back in the day. Um, and she tells you that she saw all the cultists around U13. Well, I'll tell you guys that I don't feel wonderful leaving... I mean, these cultists are only a day and a half away from. That's true. Fandolin. Very true. You know. Now a dragon. Yeah, sorry, let me expand Tends to hang out in its its area a little bit more, and if you guys aren't ready to go ahead and eliminate it, I understand. But these cultists and the dragon cult, especially, I mean. We shouldn't just leave them here to plan as a group. If we don't want to fight Venom Fang, and I'm not saying we should, because let's be realistic, it doesn't take much to get killed by a dragon. We're just people. But, you know, the cultists are just people, too. If we were going to do something good for the community or keeping the trail safe, that's a huge step in the right direction. Here's what I think. If we go after the cultists, we spend all our resources trying to wipe them out. We got nothing for Venom Fang. And that means we still have a green dragon right next to all of these cities. If we spend all our resources and try to kill Venom Fang, those cultists lose their reason to be here. Easier to take out without their dragon. DM. Mm. Yes. In my prior dealings with my former associates, had we uh -huh. ever come across anybody from the Cult of the Dragon? I'd say it's not an unreasonable thing to have come across. Um, you would know, and it's kind of just like a general, almost like a general knowledge that like the Cult of the Dragon have this like weird obsession with Draco Liches. Like, really obsessed with, like, trying to either create or make or gain phylacteries for Dracoliches. Mm -hmm. I was really sure why. It seems kind of like a waste of time, but that's their whole MO. We'll say not that long ago, I guess, depending on how we want to skew the timeline here. Uh, a splinter... Yeah, well, we'll say it was a little while ago. The splinter cell of the Cult of the Dragon was trying to bring Tiamat into the world from the Hells. Uh, and they had traversed up and down, uh, gathering loot and from various dragons. And there was a whole big thing. The whole council of Neverwinter was involved. And, um, there's a big kind of volcano to the Southeast that they were trying to basically use as a, a, a location to pull, uh, Tiamat from the hells into manifest her into the world. And it got close. Like there were heads coming out of a portal before a group of adventurers kind of put the kibosh on that and stopped it from happening. Well, either this cult has an arrangement with Venom Fang, or they're waiting for some plucky little adventurers like us to do the deed, to kill Venom Fang, and then they have their host. So it's quite, quite honestly a toss-up. As far as I know, I don't venture into magics and sort of research like that. This is purely just from uh, rumors I've heard. Uh, I'll tell you from what I know of Draco Liches, it's a whole process that needs to be established ahead of time. Phylactery needs to be created. It's a whole thing. And I doubt a young dragon is in a situation because also they need to be dead. They need to die to become a Draco Lich. And also, not all dragons, but some. I mean, most of them don't want to do it because usually 
You're not the you're not a true dragon anymore. Once you become a Dracolich, you're now an undead. So for some of them, it's a bit of pride. They don't want to do that. That's fair. I don't think I'd want to become undead. Well, you know, it's probably not the best thing. I don't know. I feel like it's easier to control undead things than it is living things. It's a lot more That's magic of... around just getting rid of undead. I mean, I yeah. guess a fireball works just as well for both, so who knows? Sure words. Anyway. Well, six so... cultists and a dragon. Mm-hmm. How I'm... often has Venom Fang come out of his tower? Their tower. Sure, tower. sure, sure. Um, Yonder Tower. Uh, you know, U7, if it, as it were. <laughs> sure, uh, I would say he basically seems to have been kind of laying low since he flew into the area not that long ago. Uh, he kind of ripped off the top of the tower of the, and then kind of did the whole dragon curly uppy thing down inside. Mm. Um... I look yeah, at Gable with his satisfied <laughs> smile. It's like, mm hmm, the curly uppy thingy, of course. Hey, yeah. It seems me and Venom Fang have something in common. I mean, it, it, obviously it'll come out to eat every so often, but for the most part, it doesn't want, I feel like it doesn't want to give up what seems to be a promising lair, in its opinion. It's also a little more civilized than just a wooded nature lair, which is more. Uh, Typical dragons or green dragons or forest dwellers, this seems to be more interested in civilization, I guess. I don't know. I do there have a really cool more. picture of it breathing acid <laughs> on a family of deer, though, or breathing poison on a family of deer. I'll send it to you in the Discord chat. I will ah. say, there is one more thing we haven't thought of, and he's going to look at soot. Hmm? If we're going to be doing battle... With a green dragon. We can't afford to hold back now, can we? And I would I, say probably not. Yeah, I um I just don't I don't know if I'm ready to deal with a dragon. Like, no one you'll like never forget your first dragon, I'll tell you that much. I don't know, are we ready for that as a group? Look, I'm interested in taking out these cultists and maybe doubling back for the dragon, or maybe just telling people about it so somebody else can come here. I never, I never, I feel like I didn't really ask. You just sort of showed up on my doorstep. What brought you to Thunderstruck? Was it just for this necklace? That's why you're here? Well, we have been looking for, have you, have you met Gundred Rockseeker by any chance? <laughs> right, the main quest. I can't because say he... that. I was kidnapped by goblins, and these Ooh. goblins, we think, are not the scrap tops, but instead are the Cragmore goblins. But there's also these goblins that either have weird long heads or crystals in the middle of them, and we're really trying to find anything that we can. Oh, you might be looking can... for Cragmore Castle, yes? I know, of, yes. I know of Cragmore Castle. Wow, how serendipitous. Yes, I suppose. Could you please tell us about it? Well, I could. But I'd really like to get rid of that dragon, you know? <laughs> uh, <what if> we... <coughs> we're we're, we're going to need everything we got for the dragon. If we take out the cultist, maybe we can use their robes to be able to sneak up on Venom Fang. We're going to need some... It, it, if Vin and Fang is at the top of this tower, we're going to either need some cloaking magic or some way to get closer. Otherwise, we're going to be sitting ducks before we ever get up to the damn thing. Well, they, are they curled up in the tower or on top of the tower? Yeah, we would a dragon sit at the basement of the tower they had. That thing's going to be up there. Well, you didn't see it on your way over here, so I'll tell you that much. Well, maybe mm -hmm. it's not in there. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Well, I bet okay. the only really way to know would be to go look. But it does like to crawl down inside because that's where it keeps... I assume it's hoard that it wants to lay on because dragons are a bunch of, you know, obsessed Weirdos, with their loot. Yeah. yeah. Will you join us if we fight this dragon? 
Well, I'm not much in a fight, but I can see what I could do. You could sling a couple of good berries for us. I definitely could do that. I, I, I mean, I want it gone. Cloaking magic. I could pass you without a trace if that would help. Oh, oh ideally. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, would you, I mean, are, if you're not feeling up to it, would you like to, st we, we could fortify the door and you could stay here, perhaps, if you need to rest before you're prepared to deal with this dragon. I think maybe we should deal with the cultists and then rest before we deal with the dragon. Well, all right. We should, we can get. Worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Let's say oh, that Venom Fang is in the tower. Yeah. Let's say that he hears a little commotion with the cult of the dragon. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah. Then we've got many problems, not just the one. Point of order, can we go get the necklace first, <coughs> just so we have it, and and then go deal with either the cultist or the dragon? I feel like I'd be stronger, too, if I got that necklace. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd look nice on you, I guess. I, I don't yeah, know I anything about a necklace. I feel like, you know, maybe. Well, who knows? Is this the kind of, uh, uh, DM, is this the kind of quest where we, uh, upon picking up the said necklace? You're really within, harping for that level four, aren't you? Within, <laughs> I think, uh, given the present situation... Would... <laughs> hey. I am trying to make things happen here. I want to go forward too. All right. Uh -huh. but I don't want to wait uh -huh. till level five. I want to do this. But uh -huh. four would unclench Bronson and mine. <laughs> just enough to do this really dumb thing. Let me let me look at some things here. I'm Let's feeling see. confident at three. I I, I, I I appreciate insane. your moxie, Jake. I really do. <laughs> I feel I, like that Bishop is just like, we're going to do it and we're going to win. I'm feeling confident in three. Rewind to three episodes. Oh, this red wizard of Thay wants mm. us in for tea. Let's go and hang out with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, random lady. How are you? <laughs> I, will, I also will ask if our new favorite druid friend, Mm -hmm. uh, with all those flasks and potions <laughs> over there. Wow. Soot is standing right yes, there. Yes, yes. What can I do for you, <laughs> Sir Branson? I give there, Soot a cup of tea first. Is there anything Ew. that you could help us with that green dragon's breath? Oh, I see. You're a smart one. Well, I bet you're probably pretty well suited to handle it, being a dwarf. <sighs> But these Naturally, others, not but so I need much. to help my friends as well. well. Let me see what I can cook up while you... So are you dealing with the cultists, or are you just going straight to the dragon? I, I just want to know how much time I have to prep, prepare potions and lotions and things. Potions and lotions. <laughs> okay, my so favorite it, store. In it to win it. <laughs> All right. Kill these cultists as quick as we can. Mm -hmm. And then, so they don't Hide. make noise. We take the cloaks. Then we have pass without a trace and the cloaks. Ooh. So we got a backup. In, in a case. surprise round, kill the dragon. Yeah. And just circle it so that it can't breath us all in the same go. Walk out a hero. Yeah, that's Walk I mean, out slay. level four. Slay. Oh, man. Slay. Oh, man, what do you want level four? Kill a dragon, get level four. I'm on, dude, I'm on the same team here. I'm I'm with this. Hell yeah. I've heard that from other parties. Kill a dragon, get level four. Definitely heard that one before. I've also heard, strangely, tonight, uh, if we were, you know, treating our journey as an episodic story, we did just hit chapter 10, and we were celebrating earlier today. I feel that we'd be putting our lives in very, very big jeopardy by challenging a dragon. Why are you not an adventurer? Isn't that every day of your life? Oh, I am an adventurer, darling, but I also know what's Did you the take an arrow taking. to the knee? Is that why you can't do it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, spicy. Hey. Hmm. Decision for us. Oh, okay. We're all just walking around this. Um, okay, so go to the apothecary, get the item. Sure. Go to the cultist, kill them as quietly as possible, mm. then go get the dragon. That sounds yeah. great. I'll start working cool. on some... Some potions in the meantime. Thank 
heal. Poison resistance, I assume, is what you're looking for. I would, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can work if that. That's what green dragons do. That is what yeah. they do, yes. That's what we can do that. No. Well, then, for sure. All right, well... I'll just be case. on your way. That that U6, the store, that's where the spiders are. Just keep an eye out. Okay. Because that's the base. The tower is up at the, the top of the hill there. And, of course, from my perspective as a person who lives in the reality, <coughs> I could tell that that was a hill up from U6 to U7, and that was what you were talking about with the spiders, of course. Right, yeah, U6 is where the spiders live. They're down there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if we looped around the south, we could just uh, completely bypass them and go deal with uh, getting that nice little necklace there. Right, although you might find stuff in the store, because it was a store. I don't know if it's... I mean, it might just be gold. I don't know. I don't really... They're spiders. I don't feel like dealing with them. I'm old. No doubt. You and Mozilla are having a fine time. Yeah, and right, Thunderbird cool. as well. And Thunderbird as well. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Go, team, go. And I walk outside. Oh, can I leave Clarence in here? That's fine. Uh, I bring Clarence inside this building. <laughs> She's like, that's fine. There's always more more the merrier. Richard, you be a good boy now, okay? Oh, so you do have an owl there. What a coincidence. Hmm. His name is yes. Peter. Well, you teach their own. Uh, Gable will actually kneel down and in a rare moment of tenderness, kind of like scritch uh, Richard's feathers a little bit. And he'll kind of just like, nice. you know, head will kind of turn owl like. No eating any of the other pets. And it just kind of like coos at you. I don't know what sound owl bears make. Everybody's um, noise owl. gate moving out whatever noise they made. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I heard 164th of an owl bear sound from one of you. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Well, I think. Given the time that we're at, this is the perfect time, as a plan has been formulated, to oh, bring tonight's episode to a close. Oh, so, uh, we'll go down the line here. Uh, Robert, hey, tell us I'm about Captain yourself. Robert. You can find me at Captain Robert at everything. Awesome. See you next week. <laughs> All right, LB. LB Hack Up, you can find me at LB Hack Up on the Twitters and the Instagrams and all that fun stuff. You can find me at Hack Recklessly tomorrow night playing Lethal Company with uh, the boys. Uh, that's the royal boys, not necessarily all men. But uh, we are going to be playing Lethal Company. Uh, we'll be Dark Friday, and then on Sunday, uh, we'll be back with Playthings of the Gods, our uh, level 15 D&D game. So. Awesome. Jake? Uh, yeah, hi, Internet. Uh, you can't find me personally anywhere, but uh, you can find my podcast at Legends Rerolled on Instagram and Spotify and all those guys uh, where we replay classic stories. We're just about done with uh, our first season, which is The Wizard of Oz. Awesome. And Cujo. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I am Cujo of Cujo Plays Games and at Crit Hit Chronicles. You can find me on all socials under those names. Um keep an eye on the socials because there might be a dagger heart campaign starting up soon Ooh, very cool mm. uh, and i'm ted this is nerd immersion you catch us here next week episode 11 as they possibly take on a dragon uh Jeez. i wanna i know Come you on, guys you guys I'm don't really you. you don't know jake jake's definitely always like <coughs> but we could beat it though I... <coughs> guys I, we I, might I, be I, able I, to kill it I, like don't I, run away we might get it <laughs> of resistance, we can totally do this. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, okay. We'll uh, we will see what happens next week. Uh, and then I got a bunch of YouTube videos. I have like a stack to make, you know, post Pax World. So we'll be doing that soon as well. So anyway, thank you all if so much for watching. Go ahead and take mm. care of leveling before it, <laughs> you even got it. You know, we, just, <laughs> we took this downtime to. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll I, see. I have all this time this weekend, and uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Anyway, yeah, we'll see you all. The experience we've got from bonding. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next week. For, Bye. <laughs>